hey guys it's queen welcome back to my youtube channel so in today's video we are going to be making glowy black soap for all skin types before we continue please 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 subscribe to my channel right now please just do it thank you for doing that um this black soap can be used by all skin types lights caramel chocolate afcast whitening in between everything everything it is more of a maintenance black soap if you do not want to get lighter this is it for you if you know what to get darker this is um a healing soap for you it has enough botanicals for skin in it and pay attention to the video so you'll be knowing everything i put in it thank you for stopping by once again so i am using two wraps of my Ghana black soup i've never actually used Ghana black soup before ever in my soup i'm always using normal nigerian black soup so this is my first time using the Ghana black soup um, i want to know how it how it actually looks like after mixing everything the difference okay this one is white this one is black i don't know i don't really know but i'm going to use it like that since i already have it here at home so let me just pound it i like the feel i try to do like it it's different from normal um african black soap so i'm cutting it into piece so it will be easy for me to pound the other kind of thing so let's start adding our powders and other ingredients sorry i have to make my powder So the first thing I want to add is my white soap. I have just two left and two is totally okay for this size. I'm going to be writing everything I use on my screen so you guys won't get confused or you don't have to ask the ingredients anymore. The first thing I'll be adding is <coughs> a tablespoon of turmeric powder. actually two tablespoons because this this soup is quite plenty i'll be using two tablespoons cinnamon powder I 
Two tablespoon orange peel powder. I'm using half teaspoon of sulfur. No, you can't have too much of sulfur in your soup, so you have to use just a little bit for reaction of brushes, heat, and all those things. I'm using, okay, not yet. I'm using um two tablespoons of sandalwood powder. It doesn't have a label, but I was one that put it to this line up. Two tablespoons. I'm using five balls of anti pimple for for pimples, acne, facial reaction, and for those things. Oh, it's hard, it's hard. It's actually very hard. Okay, it's not. Yeah. So. Three, four, five. Five is enough, guys. Because it works for people, doesn't mean you should overput your product. Too much of everything at times is trying no good. It will bounce back and give you some reactions to your skin. I love my awesome solid. So, I'm using just a little. If you are using it already powdered, you can use a tablespoon. A tablespoon is fine. Oh. Two tablespoons of my brown liquorice powder. I'm using half of my Skin Perfecto Serum. Just half of it is okay. A teaspoon of my Vitamin B3 powder. I'm not going to be using this spoon I already used to take something so I'm not contaminated so I'm using this teaspoon and then finally we are going to be adding A cup of honey.
Then the last thing we'll be doing is two of our lemon. And then just do it in it. So guys, we are adding um, a cup of about water for now. If the soap is too hard, like I'm not really comfortable with um, the texture, I'm going to be adding more about water. So let's pound. This is the other part. I do not like pounding anything. I'm going to do it today. this is the end result i will be mixing it more i'm packing it into my plastics so stay tuned it is very hard very hard i am a lazy person i do not like pounding anything for no reason even though it is for money reason i still do not like pounding anything i'm lazy <laughs> so i'll be pounding it off camera of course it's going to be taking a lot of time and i'll be showing you guys the end result i already showed this in the beginning of the video but this is the end result it was so thick and nice if you want it softer you can always add rose water